Hello, I, am I through to Omar Congregation? You are, yes. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever. I'm puzzled about Lesson 24, What is the Truth About Angels? I don't know if it's convenient to speak at the moment or maybe some other time. It's not convenient at the moment. Just, just tell me briefly what you have in mind. Um, well, uh, subsection 3... I'd, I'd have to read a bit. It says, Satan and his demons mislead many people through demonism or spiritism, which is the bad practice of trying to communicate with spirits. For example, some people contact astrologers, fortune tellers, psychics and witch doctors. Uh, and it, it goes on and then it quotes Leviticus 19.31 saying, don't consult fortune tellers. Um, but on JW.org, um, I found the Watchtower for the 15th of February 1956, page 111, and it quotes the spiritist Johannes Grieber, who used um, occult, you know, he used Ouija boards and seances to contact spirits, and then he asked the spirits to translate the Bible for him, and that Watchtower kind of approves of Johannes Grieber, and it says the spirits plainly helped Johannes Grieber with his translation of the Bible, which p part of that, that Johannes Grieber Bible found its way into the New World Translation of 1950, the 1950 Greek scriptures. Right, well, I, 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 I um, must say that I don't like the direction that you're going, because all you're doing is, is tearing down the society. Um, now, if you wish to send a text message, I'll consider this a bit more, but not at the moment. So that's as far as I'm going to go at the moment. Then, bye bye. Um, but is it true? Surely that's the issue. Okay. I'm asking my subscribers who live outside of the UK to please help me. I'm actually quite desperate for help because this work that I'm doing in evangelising Jehovah's Witnesses and other cults has really come to an end here in the UK because everyone now knows about me. They've all been warned about me and it's very, very difficult now for me to find people who will actually talk to me. However, that situation can be resolved if people help me. All I'm asking people to do is to go to jw.org, scroll down to find a meeting, click on find a meeting, and then you can go to your part of the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand or the Caribbean. Any part of the English speaking world. Click on, it doesn't have to be near you, it could be any, any um, Jehovah's Witness congregation in your locality. Click on that congregation, phone them up and just say you would like to attend a Jehovah's Witness meeting on Zoom and then Copy down the details accurately. What's the name of the congregation? What's the town or the city? If it's in America, what's the state? I will need to know the time that they are on. For instance, if it's in Florida, it's going to be Eastern Standard Time. If it's in California, it's going to be Pacific Standard Time. So I need to know the name of the congregation, the town, or city, the state, uh, and obviously the country, uh, the time that they are on, because I live in the UK and I need to make adjustments, and of course the time of the meeting. It doesn't have to be a Sunday meeting, it could be a midweek meeting. Now, please, I wish to make this very clear. I cannot possibly afford to change my phone contract and to phone outside of the UK. It's too expensive. Please don't contact me and send me long rambling explanations as how I can do this and that and the other and pay for this contract and that contract and then I can phone all over the world. I can't do it. However, Zoom calls cost me nothing. So if you give me accurate Zoom details, and they must be accurate, I can then log on free using Zoom to that Jehovah's Witness meeting and then get Bible studies in America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the Caribbean, South Africa, if my subscribers help me. And I'm asking you to please help me because I cannot continue this work in the UK. Thank you.